guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna talk about how to program and activate your crystals so that way they actually work. So that way you can experience all of the benefits that they have and all of their amazing healing properties. I was talking about this uh, the other day on my Instagram story. Come follow me over there if you aren't already. I'm very active on Instagram. But I had put up a poll asking if everyone knew how to activate their crystals and almost every single person said no. And when I was first getting into my spirituality and going on my spiritual journey, crystals were one of the first things that I felt really drawn to and intrigued by. And I think a lot of people kind of gravitate towards crystals when they're first dipping their toe in spirituality. I went to a metaphysical shop, I bought pocket stones, I bought bracelets, necklaces, and I started wearing my crystals every single day, 24 seven. And I didn't really feel like they were doing anything. The idea that these beautiful crystals could have this magical metaphysical effect on me sounded really great, but I just didn't really feel like they were doing anything. I didn't really feel like they were working. So if you can relate to that, then this video is gonna be a game changer for you because once I started to research crystals, I realized that I just wasn't working with them properly. I didn't understand how they worked, why they worked. Once you know how to properly work with your crystals, you're gonna see a drastic difference in the effect that they have on you. Now there is plenty of scientific evidence to explain how and why crystals work. I'm not going to give you guys like an in-depth physics class today, but I do want to talk a little bit about how crystals work. So what you have to remember is that our entire reality, our entire universe and everything that exists in this universe is made up of energy and vibration. Everything has its own unique vibrational frequency. You have a vibrational frequency, your phone is vibrating, your couch, your bed, your lamp, literally everything is vibration. So I kind of think of crystals as a physical, tangible like energy center because when we talk about energy and vibration it's like well you can't really see it right like if if i am a vibrational frequency that's not what you see you see a physical human body so same thing with crystals this is like a little energy center right here and this is vibrating crystals affect our etheric body also known as our subtle body so we have an energetic field that extends outside of our body but it also penetrates our physical body. So when you have a crystal, which is its own vibration, and then my body, which is its own vibration, if I carry this crystal around, then our two vibrations are going to kind of melt into one another and they're actually gonna create a third vibration, their own unique vibration. Now you might be extra sensitive to a certain crystal. You might pick it up and hold it in your hand and kind of instantly feel its energy and feel its effect on you. But generally speaking, crystals affect us in a very subtle way. So if you have a crystal that you wear every single day, or you have a crystal that sits in your home, then eventually you or your home is going to take on the energy of that crystal, but it's not gonna be like an instantaneous thing. Over time, we start to take on the energy of the crystal. Now the reason why crystals are so powerful and why they have such an effect on us is because we have our own unique vibrational frequency, as we know, but our vibrational frequency, our energy, it's really very unstable and it can be influenced very easily. Our energy is easily influenced by other people, by emotions, by stress. Um, you know, if we hear bad news, that instantly affects our energy. So our energy is very unstable. It's always kind of shifting and changing and it's just very easily influenced. Now, a crystal is the complete opposite of that because a crystal has a very stable energy that never changes because crystals are made up of repeating geometric patterns. 
The energy of this crystal is never going to change. It is very stable. And when you have stable energy, it becomes very powerful. This crystal is never going to change its vibrational frequency, but my vibrational frequency can change a thousand times a day. So over time, we start to take on that energy because that energy is consistent. It's not changing. We change, crystals don't. You can use crystals for so many different things things. You can use crystals to cleanse your energy, cleanse your energetic field. You can use crystals to balance your energy, protect your energy, to ground your energy, to aid in physical pain in your body, to aid in meditation. You can use crystals for stress and anxiety. You can use crystals to calm and stabilize your mood, to cultivate love and compassion for yourself, which then in turn, will have you cultivating love and compassion for other people. You can use crystals for mental focus, for organization, for creativity, uh, for insomnia, to aid in sleep. You can use crystals for manifestation, to attract good luck or money into your life, for spiritual growth, for awakening your intuition. I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can use crystals for so many different things. But if you really want to experience the benefits of crystals to their fullest, then you wanna know how to work with them properly. And that brings me to the point of this whole video. So how do you actually program and activate your crystals? There are two steps, essentially. And the first one is very, very important. Don't skip this. The first thing that you wanna do is cleanse your crystal. If I purchase this crystal at a metaphysical shop, there's a lot of energy that this crystal has come in contact with before I ever purchased it. It was shipped to the store. The people that work at the store put it on their sales floor. Customers are digging through the crystals and touching them. This crystal needs to be cleansed before I start working with it. Now, there's a lot of ways that you can cleanse crystals. Probably the most common is sage. Sage is like the greatest thing ever to cleanse energy. So you can sage your crystals. Now you can also cleanse your crystals using water, but you definitely wanna look up first, like Google the crystal and find out if it can even be in water. Some crystals cannot be in water, they will fall apart and like disintegrate. But if it can go in water, you can put it under running water, you could put it in like a bowl of water and let it just sit in the water for a few minutes. You can also use sunlight, but again, you wanna make sure that the crystal can be in the sun. Some crystals do not do well in the sun, they will really become like dim or they will change color and you don't wanna do that. You can also use moonlight. That is a very powerful, common way to cleanse and charge your crystal crystal is by placing it underneath a full moon. You can also use other crystals to cleanse your crystals. Um, for example, clear quartz is a really great crystal to cleanse other crystals. How many times am I going to say crystals in this video? So you could lay this on top of a piece of clear quartz or vice versa. You can use a visualization. Hold your crystal and close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths to ground your energy. And then you want to envision a bright white light kind of surrounding the crystal and the crystal absorbing that bright white light. The next step, and this is where the magic lies, this is the game changer. This is where you are going to see a difference. If you feel like your crystals aren't working, this is why, because you are skipping a very important step. And that is actually programming the crystal to do what it is that you want it to do. Now, how do we program a crystal? With our intention. That is what we are doing when we program a crystal. We are infusing it with our intention. And our intention is very, very powerful. So you're essentially gonna tell this crystal what it is that you want it to actually do for you. And the more specific you are, the better. You can do this so many different ways. Everyone has their own technique. People have their own little rituals that they do. You wanna do whatever resonates with you. You can make up your own little ritual. You can really do this however you want. There is no right or wrong way to do it. The main thing is that you just wanna be intentional when you're working with your crystals. So here is what I do. 
I have this piece of orange calcite. And one of the things that orange calcite is really great for is enhancing our creativity levels. I purchased this crystal specifically for when I am working on creative projects. What you guys don't see is that when I am filming YouTube videos, I always have this crystal nearby. When I am prepping for my YouTube video the night before, when I'm writing down notes, I will grab my notebook, a pen, and my orange calcite. It's getting warm in my hand as I feel it. I just felt it like pulsate heat. Anyways, what I do to program my crystals is I hold it in my hand and you wanna close your eyes, take a few deep breaths to ground your energy and you really want to focus on the crystal. Feel the crystal, feel the texture, feel the temperature, connect to its energy and really focus, like take all of your energy and just focus it on this crystal in your hand and just kind of sit with it for a minute. And then you want to speak your intention into the crystal. Now, the way that I do that is I literally say out loud while my energy is focused on this crystal in my hand, I will say out loud, I am setting the intention with this orange calcite that it is going to enhance creativity and I will use it when I am planning and filming my YouTube videos. And it will get my creative juices flowing, it will raise my vibration, and it will amplify all of my creative ideas. That is basically what I do. Now, you can say it out loud, you can say it in your head, maybe you wanna write it down, and you wanna be very specific and very straightforward. Tell the crystal what you want it to do. Declare what this crystal is going to do for you. It's getting really warm again. It's so cool. This is one of those crystals that when I hold it in my hand, it gets warm, but it also starts to feel really wet. It's not wet, but it feels wet. It literally feels wet. So anyways, that is how I program my crystal. And I just sit with it. I just sit with its energy. I really tune into its energy. I set my intention. I tell the crystal what I want it to do. And that's it. Now, if you want to take it a step further, and I will do this while I am setting my intention, but try to feel in your body, feel the emotion that you would feel once this crystal did what you wanted it to do. So how would I feel when my creative juices are flowing and I'm in a flow state and I have all these amazing YouTube ideas? Because our emotions, the way we feel emotionally, is our vibrational frequency. That's really what our emotional state is. It's our vibrational state of being. So if you can hold this crystal in your hand, connect to its energy and raise your vibration, match and align the vibration of this crystal with the vibration of what you want it to do and truly feel it in your body, that is going to amplify the power and the effects of this crystal. And that's honestly it. It is very easy. You can do it in no time. It doesn't have to be some huge, big ritual. You don't have to go out in the forest naked and dance under the moon and sing some weird song. You don't have to do any of that. You just wanna connect with your crystal, tell it what you want it to do, and do it in whichever way resonates with you. You are going to see a difference. You're going to start to feel the energy of that crystal. You're going to start to see it actually shift things in your life, attracting the things that you want it to attract, cultivating those emotions that you want it to help with. Now, before I wrap this video up, I want to give you guys just a few extra tips. So first of all, you want to be cleansing your crystals periodically. Crystals hold on to energy. So you want to make sure that you are cleansing the crystal so it stays really pure and that it isn't holding on to negative energy or low vibrational energy. You wanna keep it cleansed. So maybe every few weeks or every month, you know, if you're wearing it on your body, maybe even weekly, you wanna cleanse the crystal. If you haven't used the crystal in a while, you wanna cleanse it. If it's been sitting on a shelf collecting dust, you wanna cleanse it. And especially if you start to notice that maybe one of your crystals just seems dull, like its energy feels dull. Maybe it's been like really helping you. You've been noticing the effects of the crystal and then suddenly you just feel like it's not really working anymore. It probably just needs to be cleansed. But that brings me to my next little good piece of information to know. Now, it's kind of common that crystals are kind of like mischievous in a way. They are known for disappearing. Crystals will literally disappear and exit from your life. You will lose a crystal. 
out of nowhere. If you lose your crystal, it's because you no longer need it anymore. It has served its purpose. And sometimes crystals will come back. So if you ever lose a crystal, then you don't need it anymore. Don't worry about it, let it go. It served its purpose. And the last tip I have for you guys, then I'm gonna wrap this video up because this is getting a lot longer than I wanted it to be. This was supposed to be a very short video, but I just, I don't know how to stop talking. Anyways, so the last tip I have for you guys, I get this question all the time. People will ask, how do I know what crystals to buy? Go to a crystal shop and just browse the crystals and whatever you feel drawn to, that is the crystal that you need. Your body, your energy, and your intuition knows what it needs. Because remember, everything is energy. So your energy is picking up on the crystal's energy and your energy is saying, I want that, I need that. So that is a great way to pick out crystals if you don't know which ones to buy. So anyways, you guys, that really wraps it up for today's video. I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope this gave you some clarity on how to work with your crystals if you've been struggling. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, you know what to do. Leave me a turtle emoji down in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.